Hello, my name is Karen and I'm a physical health nurse at Carers in Bedfordshire. Today I will talk to you about blood sugars and type 2 diabetes. This is a good question. There are a few types of diabetes, but type 1 and type 2 are the ones that we most often hear about. Type 1 diabetes is where we are insulin dependent. The pancreas does not produce enough insulin and this is normally from a young age and can be genetic or environmental. Type 2 diabetes, the pancreas produces some insulin but the body is not able to use it correctly and type 2 can be controlled by various methods with tablets, diet controlled or insulin and exercise is always key. Type 2 tends to come on slowly over the age of 40 and this could be due to ethnic origins such as Caribbean, Black African or South Asian and obesity, high blood pressure or if another person in your family is diabetic. Commonly the symptoms of type 2 diabetes are fatigue, passing lots of urine, the urine can smell different of pear drops, increased thirst, weight loss and if you're experiencing any of these symptoms please seek medical support. Normal blood sugar readings are between 4 to 7 millimoles. However, you would not know your reading unless you are diagnosed. Some people, even when they're diagnosed, do not check their sugars and just have a yearly blood test. However, some people, their blood sugar can be variable and they should monitor their blood sugar more regular. When you are first diagnosed, you will receive instructions and be monitored by the diabetic team. This often includes a practice nurse at the GP surgery. And in some areas, there is the Daphne course, which is very informative. It is vital you follow the advice and keep your blood sugars controlled. Going forward, you will need to make life changes. Eat well, keep hydrated, get to a healthy weight, exercise, stop smoking, reduce or stop drinking alcohol. Some people in type 2 diabetes can reverse their condition, but they will have to make life changes and the correct diet and exercise is vital. This is the bad news. If you do not look after your diabetes, whether it's type 1 or type 2, you are at higher risk of dying prematurely. The high blood sugars can impact various parts of the body causing stroke, blindness, kidney failure, amputation and or heart attacks. My advice to you all is to eat well, reduce processed foods, increase your exercise, maintain a healthy weight, reduce or stop alcohol, do not smoke. Keep well, you are vital as a person. If you are a carer, it may be difficult to eat well when you are tired and stressed. It may be difficult to find time to exercise. But spend time, part of every day, looking after yourself. Because if you are ill, who will look after your loved one? Be kind to yourself and do so positive for your health. Please look out for four more videos where I will talk to you about why health checks are important, blood pressure and weight management and cholesterol and how you can help yourself.